Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're talking all things mandelic acid. Now, you could be forgiven if you've never heard of mandelic acid. It's kind of the unsung hero of the exfoliating acid world. However, if you're suffering from dry, sensitive, redness prone skin, it could be your exfoliating savior and you might need it in your skincare routine. So keep on watching if you want to find out some more and at the end of the video my recommendations for the best mandelic acid products out there on the market. So what is mandelic acid? Well it's an alpha hydroxy acid and AHA in the same family as lactic acid and glycolic acid, the more famous cousins or sisters to mandelic acid. It has a huge molecule size and that really matters when it comes to exfoliating acids. The molecule size of the the acid determines how deep into the skin it's absorbed and how deep it does its exfoliation. Because mandelic acid has a large molecule size, it's around double the size of um, glycolic acid, it actually performs a very superficial exfoliation. So it's a very light, gentle and superficial exfoliant. That makes it perfect for people who find that their skin is too sensitive to use traditional um, AHA such as glycolic acid, or maybe they use a lactic or a glycolic acid and they get redness afterwards, then maybe that's your skin saying try something more gentle and mandelic acid acid could be the perfect solution. As with all exfoliating acids, mandelic acid will increase the rate of cellular turnover in the skin. That's really important because the rate of cellular turnover determines how bright our skin is. It can also help to even out the pigment in our skin by eradicating the buildup of excess pigment and revealing that gorgeous, luminous, bright skin beneath. It works in a similar way to um, other alpha hydroxy acids in that it nibbles away and eats the bonds which hold the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin to the gorgeous, fresh skin underneath. So over time, it'll give us a more brighter, and more even complexion, which is something we can all buy into. However, mandelic acid isn't exactly the same as all other alpha hydroxy acids. Bar this being more gentle, which we've just talked about, it's also antibacterial, which is absolutely fantastic if you're suffering with acne caused by acne causing bacteria. If that sounds like you, then including mandelic acid in your routine could be a great way of regulating that bacterial production and just keeping it low and prevent over time the uh, number and frequency of breakouts that you're getting. It's also also unique in terms of the other um, alpha hydroxy acids on the market in that it will also help strengthen collagen. Collagen we've talked about on this channel before, in fact I did a whole video on it which I'll link up there. Collagen is super important because it makes up 70% of the structure of our skin cells. Our collagen levels over time diminish, they go like this as we age and that's when we lose that firmness, that elasticity in our skin. It's what the first signs of aging appear because we lose some of the collagen that's naturally produced in our skin. By strengthening that collagen it just means our skin is going to be tighter, firmer and those first signs of aging, that sagging and that loss of elasticity will be reduced. So this is a fantastic, fantastic um, um, AHA to include in your routine if anti-aging is the key thing you're looking for from your skincare routine. So does that sound too good to be true? Well, let's talk about some people that shouldn't be using mandelic acid. As with all exfoliating acids, if you have compromised, open or broken skin, you absolutely shouldn't be using an exfoliating acid. Wait for your skin to have healed and repaired and then you can gradually introduce some of these actives back into your routine. Also, mandelic acid is derived from bitter almonds so if you're someone who has an allergy to almonds it might be something that you want to consider before making a purchase of this particular product though that very much depends on the brand because actually it does go through a significant number of chemical changes and alterations to get to mandelic acid so most people who are allergic to it are fine with mandelic acid but it is something to bear in mind and what I do want to call out in this video. Other than that it's suitable for all skin types it's great for people of color or with darker skin types that don't want to go for something like a glycol acid which can actually exacerbate hyperpigmentation in someone with a deeper richer skin tone. Mandelic acid could be a great option as it's much more gentle and certainly for people with sensitive or redness prone skin mandelic acid should be the first um, acid that you try in terms of your exfoliation before then maybe graduating to other stronger acids if your skin reacts well to the mandelic acid. Whilst most mandelic acid products are safe to use every single day because of the gentle nature of the product, when you're introducing it for the first time, I would always, always recommend you start slowly, maybe once or twice a week, and then build up to daily use. Listening to what your skin's saying and working out whether it can tolerate that frequency of use before you then go into using it every single day. Now, let's get into what we're all here for, which is my recommendations for the best mandelic acids out there on the market. 
Well, first of all, I'm going to start with a few cleansers. Now, normally I say don't pack your cleansers full of active ingredients because half of the time you're applying it for maybe 60 seconds on the skin and you're washing it down the sink. So you're wasting some of the benefits. However, studies have shown mandelic to penetrate quickly into the skin and work even with a short period of contact with the skin, such as in a cleanser, which makes a cleanser a really good option for people that want a very gradual introduction to an exfoliating acid. My absolute favorite is the Deep Pore Cleanse by Medicaid, which is a fantastic brand. I did a whole review on um, that brand, which I'll link up there. Lovely, cruelty-free, fantastic, reasonably priced for the formulations you get brand. This is a beautiful, beautiful cleanser, which combines mandelic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid. That means it's going to be hydrating. It's going to go into the pores and take out some of that dirt and debris that's sitting in our pores. Great for someone who has acne, breakouts, or blackheads. And then the mandelic acid is going to bring its antibacterial properties, but also it's going to calm and give a light exfoliation. A beautiful, beautiful product that combines cleanser and exfoliation in one step. So a really great option for people that are looking to cut down on the amount of steps in their skincare routine. This comes in at £21 here in the UK or $25 in the US. So a reasonable price point for a product that will last about two months. I'll leave a link to this plus all the other products I talk about in the description box below. If you want to check out, you know, maybe read some of the um, ingredients, the reviews or make a purchase, click on the link in the description box. Most mandelic acids traditionally are applied in the form of either a toner or a serum. I've given you the cleansing option Option, but if you want to stick to the more traditional forms of mandelic acid in a toner, then I could fully, fully recommend a brand which I've just fallen in love with, which is from Geek and Gorgeous and their Cheer Up Exfoliator. This combines a 6% mandelic acid, which is a reasonable strength. They range between sort of 5 and 10%. Uh, because it's such a gentle exfoliator, I think 10% is absolutely fine. But if you're worried about the strength of an acid and you want to start really gentle, then a 5 or 6% is perfect for the beginner and people with super sensitive skin. This combines a 6 percent mandelic acid with a 1% salicylic acid, which is fantastic for people with oily or acneic skin, because what it's going to do is give a light, gentle exfoliation, but the salicylic acid is also going to be slightly calming on the skin, because salicylic acid is therapeutic in nature, but also it's going to get into those pores and just clean out all that excess oil, dirt and debris. So fantastic for people that are interested in mandelic acid for its antibacterial properties, but also giving a great light exfoliation. Now, for people who are using it primarily for um, exfoliation, you're going to want to go for a serum. The Ordinary Mandelic Acid 10% has been a go-to serum for many people for years. It's been out of stock for ages, but I checked on the Desian website linked below and it is now back in stock, so get it while stocks last. This is a really, really fantastic mandelic acid and really one of the first that brought mandelic acid to the attention of the skincare world. So a 10% concentration is going to give you a really good exfoliation over time, but still be appropriate for people with sensitive skin because of the molecule size of that mandelic acid it's not going to be too deep an exfoliation this is probably the strongest i would recommend in terms of mandelic acid because once you push it past 10 percent, you really might as well be going for a low strength glycolic acid to get quicker results and uh, because it's going to start triggering some of the sensitivity you're using mandelic acid to avoid so this is a great great option for people that want a sensitive friendly exfoliant but want those quick results because 10 percent will deliver that this is oil free so it's suitable for all skin types and it's not too drying either which is good so it's appropriate for people with dry skin, but also for people with active breakouts and are worried about acne and excess oil because the product is oil free. It's the cheapest of all the recommendations at £5.99 here in the UK, $8. So who doesn't love that price point? Now, finally, in terms of the recommendations, for those of you that can get hold of it, because it is a brand which isn't available in all countries, but Garden of Wisdom, which is a fantastic cruelty free skincare brand that brings really affordable and drugstore priced products with great formulations. They also do a 10% um, mandate acid serum which is great it's more lightweight I'd say than the ordinary and less hydrating so it's perfect for people with normal or oily combination oily skin it's going to keep you matte but also give you a fantastic level of exfoliation it comes in at a similar price to the ordinary around the five pound price point so it's really accessible and I do know that this is a brand loved by people um, in Canada and North America so if you can get your hands on it it might be a really great option um, and a dupe for the ordinary products there you are guys fantastic range of mandelic acid products and a bit of an overview of what mandelic acid could do for you. Leave me a comment below. Have you tried mandelic acid? Is this something that you're going to reach for or you've been intrigued to try and now you've got the products that you can give a go to? Leave me a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.